All right, today we're talking about one of my favorite flowers, poinsettias, and here with me now is Maria Thomas, assistant curator at the Albuquerque Biopark Botanic Garden. Good Hello. morning. Good morning. Well, these flowers are gorgeous, right? We've been enjoying them for most of the season, and now that Christmas is over, New Year's is upon us, what do we do with these? You said earlier that we can actually make these last until next year, we can get them going again, so how do we do this? Well, you know, it's like any other house plant. Um, you just kind of keep the water level nice and even, let them dry out a little bit between watering. They're um, a euphorbia native to Mexico, so they don't like extremely wet conditions. So how often should you water them? Um, it depends on your house. If you keep a really warm house more frequently, um, just okay. check the soil. Uh, okay. One thing that uh, is a common mistake is that beautiful ornamental wrapping that they usually come in. People tend to leave the wrapping on, Ooh. and then they end up sitting in water. And so okay. that's pretty much a death sentence for a poinsettia. Right. So be sure to remove that, give okay. it a nice tray, and don't let it sit in water. It'll behave much better for you. Okay. As far as temperatures go, is there anything? Is, should we pay close attention to that as we go through the seasons? Or um, Yeah, you know, they are tropical, so they do like it on the warm side. Um, in the summers, they probably would really appreciate if you move them outside into kind of a morning light, shady situation. Okay. They would really enjoy that that type of exposure. And then you might even want to pot them up uh, in late spring, early summer before you take them out. And then you can cut them back a couple times through the season. Oh, okay. Um, let's see if I can get you a nice shot of this. Right here where the leaves kind of join is where you'd want to make that cut and it'll okay. send out new leaves. Um, probably through the season they're going to lose their color. Mm -hmm. That's a natural light response. And so in order to get them to recolor, um, Starting in about October, you want to expose them to about 12 hours of darkness um, okay. until Christmas. Um, and then it'll kind of create this nice coloration in the leaves that you see. Oh, okay, fantastic. So whenever, when do you want to start cutting it back? Uh, probably April, May, and okay. then again in July, August. And okay. that keeps that nice compact growth. Okay. Uh, you don't want to cut it uh, after September because okay. then those nice developed leaves that are going to create this beautiful color, right. you're cutting those off. So, okay. so you want to stay away from right, that. Right. And as far as the rest of the year goes, before we get to like September, October, it's okay for them to see sunshine, to be in the daylight for yeah, however long? Uh, kind of a sheltered bright sheltered light, bright as light. bright as you can get without direct light. The okay. direct light, these leaves are so tender, it'll okay. burn them pretty easily. Wow. Well, these are some really mm -hmm. good tips, so that basically, that's how you're going to do it. You're going to prune them a little bit in the spring and then as you go into fall you start bringing them inside giving them that darkness mm -hmm. keep them watered and they'll come back nice and beautiful it sounds like for just we in hope time so, for Christmas right? next year we always hope <laughs> right well thank you so much for all those details and of course we posted a link on our website for the Albuquerque Biopark as well and a link for those poinsettia care tips too thanks again thank you